Well, hi, everybody. This is Stay at Home Grandma, and I'm making Asian meatloaf. Um, and I'm going to tell you everything that goes into it. I'm also going to make bok choy. I don't know whether I'll show you that or not. But anyway, I have the hamburger already ready. Hello. That's my granddaughter. She's 14. I know, finally. Hmm? Finally. I know, huh? So I'm going to cut it. Now, what I've been doing when I cut these things like this and the bok choy um, is I've been saving the scraps and actually growing this, them in the bottom ones that have the, not this part, but this part, the furry part right there and growing them and get replacing the onions. And, and have, I did my stove for the day. And it's been doing pretty good. But we'll go for a walk through my indoor garden. This one can go up. Put this right here. So how's everybody doing? I'm doing fine. It's been kind of a crazy day today. At first it was all cloudy and everything like that. Then it rained and then it didn't rain. It's been like that for a couple of days. Yeah, it has. I think I'll start a Friday night when we had that rain. So I'm cutting up, getting ready to cut up the onion. Let me put this down so you can see it too. Excuse me. Make some noise. Don't worry about it. Put this over here. Got this right here. I think I have everything. I couldn't find the hoisin sauce though. That was my biggest problem. But I moved some things around, so I got to think about where I put some things. Even if I think I had it, but I might have used. I don't know though. But anyway. So this we're cutting up the onion. So what's happening, everybody? Staying well and trying to, I don't know. Like I said, it's amazing to me. Now, I didn't use a whole pound of um, the um, hamburger because it's just me and my husband. My granddaughter's gone home in a little while and um, eat dinner at home. So... I just decided just to make this a little bit. But I wanted you to come on because it's a new recipe and I'm just trying it. And we'll see what happens. And what I'm going to do because I'm on the laptop is when I finish this, I'll let you see everything. So I'm using a half an onion. I guess that's enough. Or maybe just a little bit more. Put this in. Because this is a leaner type of a situation, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in it. Not right now, but okay. Now it calls for a tablespoon. This a tablespoon of soy sauce. half a tablespoon of marin, and this is sweet cooking rice seasoning. Like I said, I don't know where the poison sauce is. I put half a tablespoon into that. Now, you got to have garlic, and I just didn't feel like mincing up any garlic, so I always keep this jar of garlic. It's minced garlic. It's supreme, and it's tradition, it's, and I got it from the dollar store, and I get a, two or three of those and keep them in there. And I actually have some garlic that I'm going to do 
the same with and keep it in the refrigerator. And then also, I'm going to, and I think I'm going to dry some garlic too. So make some garlic powder. So when I do that, because I have a drying machine, I got some, I forgot what the company was, but I'm going to do that on, on camera so that everybody can see me doing it. I'm going to be doing a lot of things my health provided um, because I'm just liking them and doing them, so why not? So I'm going to put this over there. Now, I'm going to put in all the seasoning. Then I'm going to have the two eggs. And then, now this is Chinese five, pulse, five spice powder. I'm going to put a teaspoon, five, pulse, five spice powder in there. Then I'm going to put a little bit of onion powder. Even though there's some onions in there, I like spicy food, so I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning salt. Then a little bit of salt. About half a teaspoon of salt. And I have to eyeball this because I have to eyeball this because I have one of these, you know. So that's about half a teaspoon. And this. That's about a half a teaspoon. Now, I'm going to put in panko bread. And I'm going to actually show you how to make your own panko bread because, you know, we're, we're in this season where we go to the store and then all of a sudden things are not there and then they're there. So, you know, I know how to make my own soy sauce and stuff like that. So I want to share that with you. I think I've made it before, but, you know, hey. You have to know. And so, sometimes what you have on hand is all you need to use. Two eggs. And that was a cup of, uh, half a cup of I mean, panko. Now, I'm going to mix this up. When I touch the trash can, I touch it with this so that I don't get it all over my hands or anything. And it is clean, but trash is just trash. We'll fold this in. And really, to be perfectly honest with you, I would do it with my hands, but my hands are not so strong today like they usually are. So. I already um, put grease in my bowl. Already oiled my bowl up really, really good. Put some olive oil spray in there. I'm going to mix it in there really, really good. Hi, Happy Looks. How are you? This is how I hold it because this is just best for me. And I've washed my hair so it's not all dry and everything like that. So it's just out there. I took the cap off. I guess I should have left it on, but hey.
Okay, so this is ready and next to go into the bowl. Now, the thing is you find when you're cleaning, although I've been in the cabinet, I just haven't been in the cabinet. So I found the, and these are the um, Fire King bowls and the Fire King banking sheets. And so I took one of these. Put this in there. And that's your Asian meat folk. Yeah. Mash down. I have my oven set. Okay, so my Asian meatloaf is done, ready to go into the oven. Then we'll work on the box. You leaving? No, I'm almost. Okay. Jasmine rice is already in there. Now this I'm going to do in the... My wok is way down in the bottom. and I don't feel like fooling with the wok. So I'm doing it on this right here. Now, I'll put some of this away. Like the soy sauce. I'll do all this later. Let me get the bok choy. The bok choy is okay, but I'm going to bring it down so I can have it over. Have it up. Go on. Mm -hmm. See you later. Bye, everybody. Even if I don't answer the phone, call me. Let me know you got around the corner. Okay. No fighting. No, no fighting. fighting. No kicking. No scratching. Go straight home. No talking to strangers. All of that. Let me wash this knife. I'm, I'm talking to my. We have a joke, an ongoing joke. Let me go grab some scallions. Let me show you the scallions that I grew. You're gonna really like it. Be right there, I gotta put some brain in your hand. This I did. And I'm really proud of it because, like I said, for those of you that don't know me, or for those of you who do, I have plants last year. And because I'm I'm a little disabled, I can't kneel down outside. So, so I um. I started growing plants inside and they were doing really good then they all died. And um, so what I did was 
I sulked for about a year and it, for the rest of the year. And then I got over it. But then I got this book on hydroponics and um, that helped me to get over. And um, that was really good. Well, these are what I grew. I grew some, some of these. That's my granddaughter calling me to tell me she got home. And so I grew some of these. I wanted to cut some of these off with my scissors. And the one wonderful thing about that is that they just grow back. They just keep on giving. I also grew some lemongrass. I'm going to make some lemongrass tea. But that's for another time. I'll wash these off too. But it's so nice to be able to just go, now I'm doing my, my herbs and stuff like that. So we'll see what happens with them. And I, I know I have to get up and get back down again and stuff like that, but that helps me. Um, and I'm doing exercises for my knee and stuff like that because I am not having that knee operation. I'm not, I refuse. So let me, let me go wash these off. And then let me cut out some things and discuss it with you. So I've been busy. I've been doing some things and growing some things and everything. And um, I've decided that I'm going to do a cooking channel for a cooking school. Um, these I'm going to go wash up right there, just right there. The bok choy. I'm gonna cut a few onions up, put them in the pan. The rest of the onions and then the scallions. Okay, but I'm gonna cut these up first and then I'm gonna cut up the, um, the bok choy. And I'm actually going to, I haven't started it yet, but I'm actually gonna grow that bok choy because, you know, the book that I have says you can grow the bok choy. And so far, I mean, I've had a couple of things die on me, but. So far, everything is growing really, really good in the water. Now, there's a couple of things like that I put in the um, in the in the in the dirt, and that was my rosemary and my um, mint. But I'm liking this. And it's easy for me to go to the window and to the plant stand behind me. I also grew garlic. It's growing again because I cooked with it the other day. And why I didn't show you that, I don't know. But I'll show you again when it grows some more. So these are the... Let me close down just a little bit. These are the ones that I cut. So that's that. And I made jasmine rice, but you know what rice is and you know what it looks like. So now here's the bok choy. This part right here, you can grow. I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to put this in some water and I'll let you see it as it starts to grow. And it, the good and the bad. You know, if it doesn't grow, then I'll show you that too. Because then I've done something wrong. Now, this is all clean, but I'm going to kind of chop this up and get ready to throw this in the pan. Put this over here. Put this over here. Is another one. So, and this has already got a little root growing out on it already, as you can see. So, that's going to be good for me. I have the pan over there. I guess I should have brought it over here if I had. Everything is clean over here. I'm disinfected and. So I'm going to do some things on how to make your own disinfected at home. I'm just going to be doing my, my um, 
Okay, Leanne. Okay, Leanne. Okay, Leanne. So anyway, it doesn't take long for the bok choy to, to cook either. But it's just like having like spinach or something like that. Okay, so that for the most part is done. I am going to take this and gently carry this over into the pan and then turn the pan on. Okay, then we're going to put a couple of other things in the pan as well. So, let me take some of this. Separate it. Now, I'm a little different because I put butter on the tip of the tongue about just a little bit. I washed all this off earlier, so. I'm just really, I don't know about everybody else, but I have, well, because I'm retired and everything like that, I'm home, so I don't really mind because I said when I retire, I would spend a lot more time at home because I was never home. I was always working or going to a meeting or going to a meeting meeting and just, you know, running around. So I'm just glad to be home. Okay, now we're going to put in our onions. I'm going to add a teaspoon. Don't mind me. I, I'm, a, I'm cleaning as I go. I'm going to add in a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of, um, I'm sorry, half a tablespoon of five spice. This is what I showed you before. The Asian five spice. Gotta go put this back and then I will season it. Because I have to get some chili powder. So this is the, I don't know where I got this from, but this is the blazing chili powder right here. So put your flakes in there. And now I'm gonna put just a little bit of the mirror in. That's about a half a teaspoon. I kind of eyeballed that. And then we're going to put our garlic in. A teaspoon of garlic.
We're going to add our salt and pepper. Salt. This is the pepper. I'm gonna add just a little bit of soy sauce. As I do this, I'm going to add just a little bit of water. Okay. So my jasmine rice is ready, and everything is ready. So what I'm going to do is end this clean up a little bit and then come back and show you the finished product. So if you like this channel, like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section and I will talk to you later. I love you. Take care. God bless and stay safe. Please stay safe. And if you want me to do any videos on anything on how to make anything or anything, just let me know and I will talk to you later. Oh, my hair looks, well, it's all clean and everything like that. It's just, it is what it is. I'm the one that cut it. So anyway, and I still have this little piece back here. So to remind me that it used to be long ones, but it's okay. Like, subscribe, and subscribe. Bye-bye.